Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about the primary key. Keys are a very important part of a database design. They are essential to the relational system. So the bread and butter of this entire SQL relation, relational model revolves around the idea of primary keys and foreign keys for the most part. And um, uh, we have our example from our previous lecture we, we, where we have added the not null. Now, whenever we want to provide uh, any primary key to a column, each value for that specific column's record has to be, each value for the column values, it has to be unique. So in this case, we know that each student is going to have a unique student ID. So we can safely provide it to the student ID. So we're going to say primary and then we're going to add key. Now um, here, if I save this again, <clears throat> excuse me, we are going to get an error. So I could show you that error or I could just jump into these settings. And whenever you click on this PK, which is primary key, you're going to see that that student ID is going to become a primary key. Now this column by default is going to be not null. So whenever you click on primary key, an N or not null will be selected automatically. So if I click there, there we go. It has been selected. Now, um, so we talked about how a primary key cannot have duplicates within the column values. Each one has to be unique and it, it has to be not null. It is required. And one more thing that you can have multiple columns be primary keys. In that case, it is called a compound key, which I'm not going to talk about because that is, again, way beyond the scope of this course. So if I say apply, this is the command that we, we have to provide for that. We are going to talk about the altered table command, so I'm just going to zoom that in. Can I increase this window now? So I'm going to talk about the altered table command. I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to, we are going to go over the theory, but towards the end of this uh, chapter, actually by the end of this chapter, like in the last lecture, I'm going to show you how this alter table actually works. So for now, we are just going through a GUI route or a, a visual route of uh, uh, setting a primary key. So if I say apply, it's going to like calculate a little bit and it's going to say finish. And there we go. So if I take a look at this, primary key is selected. Now, if you were to run this code, this code would mean would create the same kind of uh, settings as we have in here. So it doesn't really matter which way you go. But of course, it is a best practice that you specify it uh, at front, uh, up front, not at front, up front. That means that you have a perfect and clear idea of what your table is, what are the column, what are the columns within that table, and what are the data types. So if you do not have like that concrete idea, you're definitely going to face some errors. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.